all eyes turned to downtown area of Dallas this morning. I mean, just plumes of smoke. I know as I was driving in, something was not right. And yeah, definitely not. We're talking about the old Ambassador Hotel right off Irvine I-30 that is on fire. We have Chris Sodegi who's live on the scene. And I mean, Chris, you were talking about it earlier. I mean, just sad, a destruction of history, truly. Yeah, absolutely. A really sad day for anybody who does appreciate history. And if you've passed by the Ambassador Hotel, you will notice the entire middle section is completely gone. It all collapsed. There's still some firefighters up on the ladders putting water on the hot spots. You can't see any flames right now, but look at this video from earlier when it looked like just a huge fireball burning right through the building, a huge hole in the middle. You can see it just burning all through it. Firefighters tell us they could see the flames coming from different parts of the building when they arrived at 1.30 this morning. The fire is so intense they could not enter the building. They had to fall back, fight it defensively to keep it from spreading. More than 100 firefighters were involved altogether on ladders on the ground. There have been several collapses, including that middle part that I mentioned all through the building. This hotel was built in 1905, Dallas's first First luxury hotel. It played host to three presidents and there were plans to renovate the building into apartments. But based on what we are seeing this morning, it looks like this piece of history has been lost. The building itself suffered a pretty significant collapse uh, right in the front uh, down the middle, which at this point the building's probably going to be uh, determined to be a total loss and completely torn down by the time it's all said and done. And right now that smoke still billowing out. The wind was so intense at some point that it actually blew the fire onto rooftops of nearby buildings. They were able to put those fires out fairly quickly. The fire department says they're not sure of a cause yet. Nobody injured as of right now. And the renovation plans for the building were ongoing. They were currently going through the planning process at City Hall. Obviously, looks like those plans will have to be scrapped. Marie and Sonia, back to you. Okay, Chris, thanks so much. It is 504.